we're back for day two of our Arizona Utah adventure. Yeah, we're excited. Uh, so we're gonna take the train from Williams, Arizona to the south rim of the Grand Canyon. First time either of us have seen the Grand Canyon, so we're excited for that. And then we plan to do at least one hike, uh, the Bright Angel Trail to the one and a half mile rest house. Uh, that's the plan right now. Uh, we'll probably explore the area as well a little bit and then we'll hop back on the train and then uh, kind of figure out our day from there. We might go to the Sunset Crater uh, Volcano National Monument. Uh, right now that's the plan, but we'll, we'll see if we have to pivot at all or uh, what that looks like. We are in an excessive heat warning here. And so I'm sure for us like Northern Minnesotans too, that's going to be a little bit of a challenge. Um, we are keeping well hydrated. Um, we've got food and snacks for the trail. So we should be good, but we'll let you know how that goes. <laughs> its first journey to the Grand Canyon, September 17th, 1901, before there was even a national park at the Grand Canyon. It made subsequent journeys for several years before being closed down in 1968 after ridership declined due to the rise in popularity of automobile travel. But in 1989, it opened back up uh, with the big reason being just overflow of traffic and just trying to find another way to get people to the park. decided just with the heat and everything we're gonna turn around here and just be a little safer uh, since it is all uphill from here. But as you can see behind us it is absolutely breathtaking like just 
nothing like it. So, yeah, so we'll see you at the top. But uh, just know your limits and 
just uh, drink lots of water if we're yeah. doing it. I know when if we would have went the extra half mile, um, that rest house does have water to so you can refill your waters. Um, but we knew that it would be a lot to continue. But yeah, it was uh, a great experience. Um, we ended up changing some plans due to that. Uh, we went back on the train and got uh, dinner back in Flagstaff, but we decided not to do the Sunset Crater uh, Volcano National Monument just, just because of timing more than anything. Um, so, well. But I do recommend trying the trail if you're not in excessive heat warning because it is beautiful and yeah, like we awesome. both felt really accomplished that we finished yeah. like kind of pumped our fists when we got back up to the top um like they said what goes down must come back up yeah. so that's something to remember um a couple things that helped us is we put liquid iv in our water yeah. to kind of help with the hydration so that was really big and then having snacks as you are going just to replenish um energy loss yep. so yeah. yeah no it was a it was a good day uh but yeah just uh just remember all those things uh if you're gonna do it especially in the summer and also i do recommend taking the train just as a fun activity when you go to the grand canyon um yeah, it was really fun. So it's a little kitschy if you want to call it that, but uh, just with the, there were some good musicians both ways, just playing in the, the car and then. The um, like service agent was, was su like, he was super amazing. friendly, he was I think funny. his name was like, Dennis. He was, he was awesome, so. awesome person. And uh, yeah, it was fun. Uh, we, we were robbed on the train back, but voluntarily they, robbed. They said, don't feel pressure to leave. But this is what's going on. So it was kind of funny just thinking of it like that. So I do recommend it. But it, I think if you had kids too, they would love that. Um, just, it seemed like the kids really enjoyed them, but like other people's kids <laughs> enjoyed yeah. themselves on the train too. So yeah, I definitely recommend that. Yeah, so have a good one.